So I am at the grocery store with my mother. We're in the parking lot in the car, and she's nervous. She has this long shopping list. She hands it to me. She has this envelope stuffed full of cash. She hands it to me. She looks at me, and she says, remember what we talked about. Just go in there, do what you have to do, and don't let anybody bother you. I'm like, OK. So I get out of the car, um, go into the store. And so I'm shopping. Um, and I'm trying to be nonchalant, do what I have to do. And uh, I can't help but get the feeling that everybody's staring at me. Sure enough, within a few minutes, a woman pushes her cart over to mine and says, honey, can I help you find your mother? <laughs> it's a reasonable question because I'm eight years old and uh, the cart is pretty much about as tall as I am. This is not your average grocery store either. This is the commissary at Goodfellow Air Force Base in San Angelo, Texas. It's uh, subsidized, so the groceries are cheap, which is why my mother wants to shop there. She's got a family of eight kids and a husband to feed. Um, but when she divorced my father, an Air Force officer, she lost privileges to shop at the uh, commissary. But resourceful as she was, she soon discovered a loophole, which is that her kids, his dependents, did not lose privileges. So I, I'm the, it's, it's amazing. I'm the youngest um, at this point, so I'm not entirely sure why the job has fallen to me, but I think it's because my older siblings are rebellious teenagers and I am not. So here's the deal that I have with my mother. If I buy everything on the list and I come in under budget, I can buy something for myself. So I learn to count very carefully. I also start paying attention to brands. So on a good week, she will list Hellman's mayonnaise. It's my favorite mayonnaise. And at this age, I like to really scoop whole swipes of it onto uh, slices of Wonder Bread and eat it like a sandwich, a mayonnaise sandwich. Um, on a bad week, she will call for a generic or house brand of mayonnaise, or God forbid, she will list Miracle Whip, which I hate. Um, so my mother, um, just so you know, is a fine cook. But when I say fine, I don't mean my mother is a very fine cook. No, I mean my mother's cooking is barely fine. <laughs> she is of German heritage, but it's distant enough that it doesn't really show up on the table at all, unless you think that um, meatloaf under a blanket of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup concentrate somehow has ties to the old country. Her other favorite thing to make, which she made only for special occasions, um, was something that she called Texas salad. I am going to, I'm going to give you the recipe and I think you're gonna to wanna to write it down. Um, here's the recipe. One head iceberg lettuce, one red onion, one tomato, one block cheddar cheese, one large bag Fritos, one bottle Catalina French style dressing. <laughs> Not French, French style. <laughs> um, now, at, at this age, I have a new friend, Greg, at school, and his mother is also German, but his mother, her heritage is not distant at all. She is like directly from Germany, like nonstop flight, do not pass go from Germany. She's really tall, and she's got this blonde hair that she pulls into a really tight bun, and she has a really sharp accent, and she scares me. Um, <laughs> one day, Greg invites me over to their house for dinner and a sleepover. So we're at the table, and Greg's mother brings out two things first. Uh, one of them is a plate that um, has 
what looks like brown bread on it. And next to it is a bowl um, that has what I think is margarine, although I've never seen margarine outside of a plastic tub before. Um, the bread is honestly like nothing that I've ever seen before. It's, it's got a smell. And I happen to know from all my food experience that bread is not something that has a smell. It also is this ch color of chocolate. I happen to know that bread is lily white. <laughs> it also looks like it's gonna be chewy and it has like a crust and no, bread is something that is soft and squishy and with no texture at all. Um, but, you know, the smell is starting to attract me, actually. It smells deep and nutty and kind of interesting, and I start to reach for a slice, and this is really weird. It's warm. <laughs> and so I, I start to take a slice to, um, to taste it, and Greg's mother stops me cold. What's about the butter? that stuff? I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't even care about that stuff, but, you know, I'm, a, I'm her guest, I'm trying to be polite, so I smear some of it and I put it on the bread, and I finally take a, take a bite. Well, the bread is amazing. It is deep and nutty, and it's a little bit sour, and it's got a little bitterness to it, and it's just unlike anything I've ever tasted, but really what floors me is this bread. First of all, it's pale. It's not yellow like I'm used to, and it's not greasy. It's, it's creamy, and it's a little sweet, and it's a little salty, and it tastes almost like green in the best possible way. And I'm in heaven, and I'm also, I can't even help myself. I sputter out to her what brand of margarine is this? <laughs> margarine? This is not margarine. This is butter. <laughs> Thought they were the same thing? <laughs> Nine! Nine! Margarine is fake. Margarine is from a factory. Margarine is an American invention for people who do not know better. Butter is real, butter is from milk, butter is from a cow. Margarine is nothing, butter is everything. <laughs> Who am I to argue at this point? I, I believe her immediately. And I eat slice after slice after slice of this warm, nutty bread with this sweet, salty butter and I'm, I'm just in heaven. I'm in sort of a fog of pleasure. I'm in like a butter-dipped coma. <laughs> and as soon as I start to kind of come out of it, I start to have this sinking feeling that something's wrong. And it's this realization that my mother always talked about oleo, margarine, and butter as if they were all interchangeable. And all of a sudden I'm realizing that either she just didn't know better or she was lying to me. Where had this butter been all my life? It had been right there and she had kept it from me. So the more I thought about it, the angrier I started to get. So the next day, Greg's mother drops me off at home. And I run into the kitchen first. Gotta find her. She's standing at her stove in the kitchen, and it's this 1950s O'Keefe and Merritt stove. It's all gleaming chrome and porcelain, and uh, she's standing there stirring something on the stove. She's, she's wearing this caftan, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's 1973, and uh, she's got this bouffant hair that makes her look barely taller than her five feet, and uh, she turns to me, Hi, honey. Did you have a good time? So I'm really angry. So I'm like, yes, but did you lie to me? She's like, lie to you? About what? About butter. 
lie to you about butter? Why on earth would I do that? You told me butter and margarine are the same thing. I was just at Greg's house and Greg's mother served us real butter and margarine is fake and from a factory and butter is from milk and margarine is nothing and butter is everything. <laughs> and she just sort of rolls her head and slumps and sighs and just says, oh honey, goes back to stirring on her stove. So of course I'm incensed. Um, I storm out of there, run up to my room and I'm stewing about it. And the more I stew, the more I start to have this realization, hey, wait a minute, I buy the groceries in this house. <laughs> I can get whatever I want. <laughs> so the next Saturday rolls around and my mother is starting to make out her list and I march up to her and I say, add real butter. And she says, real butter is more expensive than margarine. You know our agreement. You buy everything on the list. You come in under budget. You can buy something for yourself. You could buy real butter butter. And I say, fine, I think I will. <laughs> and I guess I'm feeling cocky, you know, from my little taste of power. <laughs> so I say, one more thing. Let's talk about Miracle Whip. <laughs> I don't think it's actually mayonnaise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.